Hi there, in my last video I was showing you my cigar box guitar and the way I use it uh, to play my Morris tunes and most of the Morris tunes are in the key of G but there are a few in the key of D and I have another cigar box guitar which is tuned D A D uh, but it doesn't really work very well for those Morris tunes so I started to sort of research different tunings and on the internet I came upon uh, an instrument that was for sale in Germany and they call it a dulcister, which is a, a cross between a dulcimer and a sitan. Well, actually, a sitan has got 10 strings, I think. Um, so what they were saying was more like a bazooki. And the tuning was very different. It was four strings. Uh, anyway, it got me thinking about alternative tunings. So to cut a long story short, I ended up buying this tenor mandola. And a tenor mandola is tuned a fifth below a mandolin. A mandolin is tuned in, in fifths, uh, like a violin. And this is tuned a fifth below that, so this is a tenor uh, mandola. I tried a bazooki, but I found the, the stretch too much. It was too, much, too far this way, it was hurting my arm. And it wasn't giving me the pitch I wanted, it was too low pitched. Um, all the Morris tunes are fairly high pitched. And I'm really pleased with what I've come up with here. And these are normally tuned in fifths, but I've tuned this uh, in uh, octave fifths. I'll show you what I've done. These two courses are tuned an octave apart, and so are these. So I've basically just got two notes. Now, um, originally I didn't use the capo, but I found it was a, the, the, the tension was a bit high on the neck. I was a bit worried about the neck, so I tuned it down. So basically without the capo, um, it would be tuned, these two would be C, as with these two, these two would be G, as with these two, so it would be C, G, C, G, but with a capo it's D, A, D, A, or Dada, if you like, D, A, D, A. So, my cigar box guitar is D, A, D, so there's the D, A, D bit, so if you like I've got an extra A on top, which is really handy, because rather than sort of going right up the top of this D string here, to get the higher notes, I simply move over to the A string to get them. So to play that first part of John's polka, the first tune I played, I would have to go all the way up there, whereas now it's, it's there, so it's much more convenient, much more comfortable, and it just sounds an awful lot better. Um, so I was a bit obsessed with sort of dulcimer necks and thinking, you know, I've got to have uh, a dulcimer type neck with, if you like, all the wrong notes removed. But then I thought, I can cope just as well with a chromatic neck. I just miss out the, the, the notes I, I, I don't need. And in fact, I've been playing some other tunes, like Norwegian Wood, where you need a chromatic neck. I'll show you that. pretty good tuning um, and I'm sort of not missing my dulcimer neck and I'm really looking forward to my next Morris practice where I can try try this out and I think it's going to sound pretty good. I've been practicing along with my wife who plays English concertina. I've also been practicing along with a few videos of my Morris side. Uh, obviously the you know the, the acid test will be when I actually get to play out with the band but I, I think it's going to work pretty well. So there we are that's a, a, a tenor Mandola, not to be confused with an octave mandola, which is tuned an octave below um, a mandolin, and that's the same tuning as a bazooki. And there's loads of different tunings uh, for bazookis and mandolas and mandolins, you know, basically anything goes. But this tuning works really well, and I say with, the, with it tuned down and then capoed on the second fret, it's not such a, a strain on the neck. Um, I may try a slightly lighter gauge set of strings. This is an Antonio Cavallo, or oh, it's pretty, pretty said that wrong, it's pretty Cavallo, uh, 
Tena Mandola, and it's made in, in Portugal. Um, and it's really nice. It's, a, it's the classic pear-shaped body, but obviously you can see it's a lot thicker, a lot deeper uh, than a mandolin, so therefore that much louder. And it's a nice length, it's not, not the sort of length where you're gonna sort of strain your arms, stretching up, reaching out. It's really, really comfortable where it is. I tried my mandolin uh, for the, the pieces in the key of G using the same sort of technique and tuning that up, but that didn't sound anywhere near as good and I'm still sticking with my uh, GDG cigar box guitar strumstick for all the G pieces. So this won't get played that much out because as I say, most of the tunes are in G with just a handful in D, but I shall be using it for other stuff as well, other than the Morris stuff. And I think, uh, I think it's a pretty good tuning.